this video I'm going to talk about the read point alignment. So this is a single point alignment, real time saver. It's something we do teach in our training, uh, but I just wanted to share it with you because every time I teach people it, they're extremely uh, appreciative and they love it and want to start using it right away. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually import a, a model of the machine. So you can find that under insert hardware definition machine. There we go. So this is actually the new interface uh, introduced in 2018. So you may notice it looks a little different than your version if you have a, an older version of PC Demos. So I'm just going to go ahead and find my bridge CMM under hexagon. So I'll use this uh, hexagon SF, the shop floor model. It's a nice model. And the other thing I want to do is actually enable the show machine volume. So you can see that, that uh, green square there. And if I rotate, you can see it's the cube. So that's simulating the machine measuring volume. Okay, so let's click apply and okay. Okay, so in talking about the read point alignment, we really need to understand the purpose of a manual alignment. So really all we're doing with a manual alignment is telling the software where the part is in the machine measuring volume. And what I want to show you is a bit of a shortcut. So we don't need to spend a lot of time uh, probing our part, probing planes and bores to get our, our manual alignment. Uh, what we can do is take advantage of the machine axis or what's called the startup alignment. So the startup alignment is the machine alignment. And before we do anything, we always have that machine alignment. So if I zoom in here, you can see the machine is moving square to that axis. So you can see the trihedron at the upper left corner and even take note of the readout. So this is where we are in machine coordinates. This is the squareness, how it's traveling. And if our part is pretty close to that, I mean, pretty parallel and pretty square to the machine axis inside the measuring volume, we, we can actually skip the level and rotate part of the alignment. So in other words, a read point alignment is essentially just an origin alignment. So we need to tell the, the software where the origin of the part is, but we can rely on the machine's axis and squareness and parallelism if the part is reasonably square and parallel to the machine axis. So let's get our part in there and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so there's my part. So you can see the software has also shifted the trihedron onto part coordinates and now the readout actually represents that. But we're just in virtual mode here. In the real world, we need to relate that part axis to the software so that it knows where it is on the machine. So what we'll do is use a read point for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, insert that read point. It's actually considered a feature by PC Demos. So let's go to insert feature. And you can see it down here. You can also see the keyboard shortcut, control G. Okay, so there's my read point in the edit window. So what I want you to take a look at is the coordinates of my read point. You'll notice that it is the exact same coordinates as my pro readout window. So I'm simulating actually moving the probe head uh, Ruby center point to my desired location on the part and what I need to do is translate that into part coordinates. So I don't want to change the actual in my read point but I do want to update the theoreticals to the part origin. So in this case what I'll do is prompt the op operator to move the probe center point to my part XYZ origin. So first thing I need to do is update my theoreticals for my read point. So in this case, I do not want to update measured values. So I answer no to that. The measured values will be the actual machine coordinate positions of where that part is sitting on my CMM. Okay, so the next step is to do my actual alignment. So this is the actual read point alignment, which again is just an origin alignment. So I'll just quickly do that. So basically I want my point one to be X, Y, Z origin. So, so this is a pretty simple one. 
and you can see now the XYZ readout or the probe readout window is showing 000, 000 in X, Y, and Z. So this will only be close. This will just be uh, what is essentially a rough alignment. But what our goal is, is to eventually get into DCC mode and do a proper alignment. The other thing I might suggest is adding an operator comment prior to the positioning of the probe at that read point. Otherwise, it will just read wherever the probe happens to be at that point in the program, which could just be anywhere. Okay, so let's just quickly do an operator comment. Okay, so there we go. I've just simply wrote uh, position probe at start point. And then when the operator clicks OK to the operator comment, it will read that position on the machine and set that position of the center of the ruby to my part X, Y, Z, zero. But anyway, that's, uh, that's how you do a read point alignment. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.